Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this webinar. We have kind of gone for a pseudo webinar, but uh, here we are, and hopefully we can help you maximize uh, your experience at Safety 2024. I am Dr. Jagnur. I am the program lead at the Institute Division at the George Institute for Global Health. We are also a WHO collaborating center for injury prevention and trauma care. And we are super excited and really looking forward to seeing you in New Delhi. Um, as for the agenda, uh, we have around nine items and um, it's wonderful to have a great team working in the front and at the back and sideways uh, to bring together a great program. Um, so we will be going through some welcome notes, uh, followed by what to expect on your arrival at New Delhi, how you can go and get around Delhi and what experiences you can have, um, followed by some details on the pre-conference workshops and pre-conference field trips. Um, and then we will take a deep dive into day one to day three of the main conference. Uh, which would include the plenary and plenary sessions as well as the social events, followed by state of the art sessions and other presentations during the conference. And then we will give you some insights into how you can start engaging with fellow delegates as well as the conference convening members through social media and how to maximize uh, social media as well as comms opportunity from now till the event. Thank you. Next slide, please, Sally. Um, so welcome to the conference. This, these images are from the conference venue. I hope as you enter through it, um, through the venue, you are able to take a note of it. I understand that the picture on the right would be very tempting for a group photograph. I would just make a note that we are not allowed to have group photographs over there. However, we have booked in some time and uh, hope to get all of us together around that time and have some nice pictures and memories to make. Um, there are two, two entrances to the conference venue, um, and as we go further into the webinar, we will recommend which entrance you should be using, particularly if you're not staying at the Taj. Thank you. Um, before I hand over um, to my fellow team member. I would just like to introduce Ali, who has been helping us get these slides together and helping us through the webinar. Ali, can you say hello and introduce yourself for a moment, please? Thank, Thank you, you Jagna. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Alejandra Piragauta. I'm a research assistant in the Injury Time Prevention in UK, and I've been behind with this team on the organization of the safety that I hope that you can join us and meet us in India. Thank you so much, Ali. Um, so I'm going to hand over to Reha for the next slide in a moment, but I will take this slide because I'm quite a few frequent tra traveler myself coming from Sydney to New Delhi. Uh, that speaks a little bit about my positionality. So this is the image, the one on the right side with various dance hand positions that you see, you will see as you walk down the escalators at the Delhi airport. On your right side would be your immigration check. So there are uh, checkpoints both on right and left side. Um, but the right, most, most of the times it just it does change from day to day, but most frequently you will see it on your right side and it has various counters of, for foreign um, travelers, OCI and PIO members who are basically Indian uh, NRI members or um, people who have e-visa. So there are different categories. However, uh, we have a counter, immigration counter, that is only for safety conference delegates. Um, we hope all of you have applied for the right type of visa, that is your conference e-visa. Uh, most of the visas um, and approvals should already be in place if, by the time you're uh, watching this webinar. If not, please do get in touch with us on an urgent basis. Uh, our friends from China, Iran and Pakistan, there's a bit of delay and we will be in touch with you separately. Um, so once you have been through the immigration counter, uh, you might have to put in your thumbprints and there'll be a photograph, etc. You might already know the drill, but just in case, um, you would be taking kind of a U-turn and walking towards the baggage. Uh, it's it's an awkward place because as you walk through the uh, towards the baggage area, you are welcomed by duty free shops. And the first counter is actually an alcohol counter. Maybe you can give some feedback. Uh, alcohol is a huge respecter for injuries, um, so you can start with your advocacy right there. Uh, and as you move through that shopping area, there are various carous carousels, and there are quite a few 
um, TV screens that will be able to inform you where to expect your baggage. And once you have picked your baggage, unless you have something to declare, um, please check on the custom items before that. It is unlike um, uh, New Zealand and Australia. Most of the items are in, uh, allowed unless um, and they are uh, already priced, but nonetheless, do check. Uh, you would probably not need to go through the customs. Uh, if you have something to declare, then you would have to go through the customs. Thank you. Over to you, Reha. Hi, I'm working as a consultant for and will be support. I'm supporting Safety 2024. So after you've done all your customs and all we you can get and obtain your sim card from the booths which will be available there for that you need to show your passport which will be photocopied and your passport size picture other than that there are also atms at the airport from where you can withdraw money the maximum limit of withdrawal of money is ten thousand rupees which will be enough for one or two days living in uh new delhi uh can you move to the next slide yeah, so the ground level at T3 is the arrival area providing you access to Delhi Metro and services like information desks, baggage claim area, among the others, and international arrival passengers get off at the inter at the pier at the ground level. Uh, can we move to the next one? Thank you. So for transportation at airport, there are various booths for Ola and Uber from where you can book your ride to the conference venue. And the hotel. Other than that, you can download the apps and book your rides. There are various options available for the rides. And there are also prepaid taxi booths from which can be used for booking the rides. Um, but more th other than that, uh, we are also offering uh, airport pickup. And for that, we have enclosed the link within the presentation, which we will share with you. The pickup location for cab app based taxi is usually ground level car parking. And for the radio taxi, it's T3 arrival at pillar number 5 and 15. Mm -hmm. Next slide, please. Next slide. To get around Delhi, we would recommend you to use app based taxi system, which is Uber and Ola. We've enclosed the link for the same for Android and Apple users. And even to experience auto rickshaws, we would recommend you booking through these app-based taxis because there's the possibility of them overcharging you. Um, and for short distance travel, we'd advise you to enjoy the weather of New Delhi in September through auto rickshaws. Yeah, next slide. Uh, to get around Delhi, we also have a very well-networked metro system and we would recommend you to experience the metro yellow line, which has most of the tourist destinations. So we have enclosed the link for the map, the map and the, the route and how to access Delhi Metro in the presentation. Also for obtaining the smart cards, uh, we have you, you can get it recharged as per your requirement and the distance you want to travel. Thank you. Next slide. For places that you can visit near Taj, we have Delhi Heart, where you can experience the delicacies all over India from south in, from south to east to west to north. And it has diverse cuisine and craft and intricate craftsmanships and things which you can experience there. In Janpat, you can get uh, very beautiful souvenirs which you can take back and remember as a part of something memorable. In Chani Chok, if you are really, really interested in having the local food like the kebabs, the shahi tukra, the sweets, we would recommend you to visit this place and it will, it, it has lip smacking food. Next slide. For foods and drinks, we would suggest you to visit Khan Market at, as it has some of the upscale boutiques um, and exclusive shops and it's a go-to place for most of the people living in Delhi. And for and Connaught Place, it is one of the most important commercial hub. And it has some remnants of the colonial time. Yeah. We also are offering historic tour options for you all. And we have a half-day tour to Qutub Minar and Humayus too, where you can see the core New Delhi and it's 
historic intricacies. Then if you are interested in a religious tour, we have Bangla Sahib and we'll be taking you to Lodi Garden. Then we have a half day tour to Akshardham where inside Akshardham there is boat riding then you can watch movie and there are various things to do inside. So for any of the details, you can reach Ms. Pusha Sharma and we've enclosed her email in the presentation. Thank you. I'll give. Good morning. Um, so we have um, a variety of really interesting workshops at Safety 2024. These will be held at the India Habitat Center from the Saturday to the Sunday before the conference uh, begins. So that's the 31st of August until the 1st of September, 2024. We have two general types of workshops. So you can either have a half day workshop and those are either AM or PM workshops. And then there are full day workshops on any one of the two days. Um, yeah, next slide please. So um, the India Habitat Center is very, very close to our, uh, to our um, conference uh, venue and also close to the to the airport, as you can see. Next slide. So these are just some of the uh, organizations that are running some of the really amazing workshops that we have for you this year. Um, and you can see that many of these partners are working together to bring multidisciplinary workshops um, that will definitely pique your interest, uh, depending on what you're interested in. Next. <clears throat> so our workshops range from everything from um, primary prevention of injuries all the way to secondary and post-injury care and rehabilitation. They range across the gamut of different causes of injury, so road injuries, falls, drowning, etc. Uh, and they also speak to different types of stakeholders all the way from policymakers to the communities, um, uh, to researchers and everyone in between. So some of the notable ones that, that I can speak to are um, publishing your injury prevention research uh, being delivered by uh, uh, various um, experts in, in publishing, um, building a safer future for all children being run by UNICEF and Safe Kids, um, a very interesting workshop on applying AI and deep learning to injury research, um, and then in various implementation science um, uh, workshops. So as you can see, there are a lot of different and varied uh, workshops to pique your interest um, and registration for each workshop is still ongoing on the website. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Pratishta Singh and I work as a research officer at the George Institute India. I will be taking you through three very interesting conference field trips that we've arranged for the delegates with our partner organizations. Next slide, please. The first one is called 250 Meters of Happiness, and it is organized by an NGO called Humankind. This 250 Meters of Happiness is Delhi's first student-friendly street, which has been co-created by children in 2019 and has now been recently completed. Um, in this field trip, you can learn about how power and equity bring everyday safety and happiness into 10,000 students of Delhi's lives. And you can also experience a walk with the students as storytellers and meet those who designed these projects. To join us, you can reach the India Habitat Center on Lodi Road between 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. on the 1st of September. From Taj Hotel, the conference venue, you can take a cab or an auto for about $3, or you can also try out Delhi Metro's pink and yellow line. Please do remember that the maximum number of participants for this event is 25. For any other queries or clarifications, you can reach out to contact at the rate humankind.org. Next slide, please. The second field trip is to the Shiro's Hangout Cafe in Noida. This is a cafe that is run entirely by women survivors of acid violence and is managed by an NGO called Chow Foundation. Here you can grab some amazing and affordable Indian or continental snacks and all proceeds will be used for the survivor skill building. You can get, go here after the workshops between 5 to 8 p.m. on 31st August or 1st September. It is located inside the Noida Stadium about 30 minutes away from the conference venue. Um, delegates can take an auto or a cab for roughly $6 or take the metro's um, pink and blue line. For this, uh, this for this field trip, there is no cap on the number of participants who can go. For any other details, you can reach out to akriti at the rate shaw.org. Next slide, please. Lastly, the third field trip is for Rahagiri Day, organized by the Rahagiri Foundation. Um, in the Hindi language, Raha refers to pedestrian pathways and Giri means the act of movement. So this is India's first sustained car-free citizen initiative that promotes the safety of pedestrians and cyclists while connecting communities by reclaiming city streets and public spaces. You can join us between 7 to 10 a.m. on the 1st of September at Cannot Place, Delhi. 
to reach this location, you can grab an auto or a cab for about three dollars or take advantage of the Delhi Metro's orange line. There is no limit to the number of delegates who can attend this field visit as well. We will be sharing further details soon. However, in the meantime, if you have any further queries at the moment, you can contact Nahagiri Foundation at the gmail.com. That's all from me, and I hope you enjoy these field trips. Over to you, Jagnoj. Jagno, you're on mute. Sorry. So you're right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How could this not happen? Um, well, um, thank you, Dennis and Pratishta. I think you have offered uh, a lot for the starters. So I'm going to uh, urge to our uh, delegates not to be exhausted within the first two days and uh, hold on to your stamina if you need bring some Baroka along uh, because the main course is still uh, to come. Um, so we have a very exciting program for you, uh, which includes plenary sessions. We also have an equity walk, which is like a power walk on day one. Um, and then we have sessions called the state of art session, spotlight session, and of course, parallel sessions through your abstract submissions. Um, so the plenary sessions are five and we are extremely excited about them because um, we have been planning and thinking about it to widen your horizon uh, over the past almost eight months. Um, so these are the five plenary sessions. Uh, the one I'm super excited about, am I allowed to say that, is a debate that we're looking forward um, to between teen debaters and some policy experts. Um, so I'm not going to get into the details of these plenary sessions, but what I would say is come prepared to be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, discomfort and growth live on the same street. Um, so I hope you're able to embrace that and uh, really um, enjoy these plenary sessions, which would kind of set the stage for each day uh, and all the spotlight and um, state of art sessions that we will have through the days. Next slide, please. Um, so these are some of the keynote speakers. Uh, most of the plenary sessions are set in a way other than the debate uh, in a 75 minute format. What you would expect is one keynote speaker from, who would be speaking for 10 to 15 minutes, uh, followed by five to six panelists. Uh, it will be a moderated session um, and there will be a few surprises and uh, we hope it will be fun. Next slide, please. Um, there would be some, ground, of course, there are always ground rules with, uh, with events, uh, and we will be posting some um, on the website in the coming days. However, I just wanted to reiterate uh, that we would really encourage community voices and marginalized voices. And one of the things that, of course, the moderators, the chair people, a uh, person could do during the conference is ensure that they get the first right to ask a question. Um, and we encourage you to have respectful dialogue use inclusive language, of course, participate actively, both physically and mentally. So do feel free to move around and enjoy the gardens at the Taj Palace. There are a couple of them um, just outside the main venue. Um, uh, please be mindful of the time management because there are the speakers uh, who would be speaking right after you and we would like to give them uh, their due time to present. Um, and yes, of course, have disagreements, but be respectful. That's very, what we are about in academia. Thank you. Next slide, please. Um, exciting. Uh, we are very thankful to Bloomberg Philanthropist. They would be hosting the first um, the reception the first day of the conference. These will be held right after the second plenary session on day one uh, outside uh, uh, the main room at the Taj Palace. So there are two gardens and we would be walking out towards them um, and it will be fun. Um, thank you. Next slide, please. Um, I hope you're all excited about the dinner, the conference dinner, which is themed as an Indian wedding. It's going to be big and it's going to be fat, not trying to match Ambani's. That's a little too hard, but uh, irrespective, it's going to be fun. If you don't know who are Ambani's and if you haven't uh, followed the news, perhaps you're living under the rock, I would encourage you to have a, have a sneak peek. Um, uh, we would encourage you to wear Indian. But if you don't have Indian wear, don't be fast. We we have you well covered. So we do have enough props and various uh, Indian and cultural uh, things that you could use um, during the dinner. So thank you. Moving on to the next slide, please. Cooking pass. Um, this is not part of the main conference and there's a separate booking for it. Uh, however, there is a fair amount of interest for the cooking class. Uh, you would have to book it separately, but it is on the um, conference website itself. It is on Saturday 30th August 6.30pm um, at 
Taj, that's the conference venue. It would be easy for you if you're staying at the venue, but if not, um, you might like to travel to the to the conference venue. As we are talking about cooking, I might just take a moment. Uh, I think Riha encouraged everyone to enjoy some of uh, India's different cuisines across the various markets and street food. I might just put on, on everyone's agenda, there is 24 seven uh, pharmacy. In case you're experiencing Delhi Belly, I would encourage you not to have raw food. Think twice before uh, having water, common travel um, uh, travel sense, travel plan sense thing kind of things. However, if you are in trouble, we will we'll try and provide you with a number for emergency. We would like you uh, to be safe and healthy throughout the conference, and um, we will be in touch with more about that on the website. Thank you. Next slide, please. Over to you, Margie, I believe. Yes, it's my turn. I'm Margie Peden, and I'm the director of the Global Injury Program um, at the George, but most importantly, I'm the co-chair of the International Scientific Committee with my colleague Geeta Menon from, from India. So I'm going to just give you a, a, a brief update about where we stand with the conference program. We do have a draft um, of the conference uh, schedule online at the moment. It is not final. Um, we'll be finalizing it in in the next two weeks based on those of you who've had oral um, and poster posters accepted and who have registered. There'll also be an app, which I think that Deep Tea will be telling us about a little bit later, where you'll be able to find the, the program and follow along. Next slide. Okay, so as Jagnor mentioned, we've got a, um, a host of different types um, of presentations. Uh, state of the art um, and special sessions. We've got six state of the art um, sessions that cover issues like road safety, falls, um, drowning, uh, trauma care, violence prevention, etc. We also have a photo exhibit exhibit two special sessions, three spotlight sessions, and as um, Jagnor has already mentioned, an equity walk. Next slide. So some of our state-of-the-art speakers um, come from various disciplines, um, and we hope that you'll be joining us uh, for uh, for these special sessions with the likes of keynote speakers uh, Saul Billingsley from the FIA Foundation, Greta um, uh, Massetti from the US CDC, Kathy Sheraton from Australia, Prof Guru Raj and Prof Roy from India, um, and Carolyn Lukasik from, from WHO. So they'll be the keynote speakers. These will also be 75 minute sessions um, and there'll be five to six uh, para, uh, um, panelists who speak after their keynote speakers. It'll be a moderated session um, and we hope it will be as interactive as possible. Next slide. We'll also have, as I mentioned, some other um, sessions. Most notably, there will be a photo exhibit. I'm sure that many of you are aware that we lost um, our guru, um, Professor Danish Mohan, to, to COVID very sadly. Um, and there will be a, a beautiful photo exhibit um, of his life and work um, and contributions to injury prevention. We'll also profile some other greats that we've lost over the couple of, uh, last couple of years. There'll be a couple of spotlight sessions, as Jagna also mentioned. Um, these will be during lunch um, uh, uh, lunchtime, so we encourage you to grab some food quickly in the first 15 minutes um, and then head to the specific room for one of the spotlights. There'll be one around road safety financing, one specifically for injury prevention in Southeast Asia, and then there will be a very exciting equity and mobility spotlight as well. There'll also be an equity power walk. Um, I'm sure that uh, many people, this will be a, a, a new and novel experience for many people. Um, so I I hope that uh, you will join us for the Equity Power Walk, which will be on day three. 
Next slide, please. So just a little bit about the parallel sessions. There are lots of parallel sessions. And as I said, we're finalizing the program as we speak. We've had 333 oral presentations accepted and people have registered. We encourage you to use the guidelines to prepare your presentations, which are online and the link is here. The presentation um, uh, template is also online. Uh, please stick to the 12 minutes. It's going to be 12 minutes and you'll be cut off. We're going to have good chairs and moderators for these sessions to keep you on time. There are many road safety presentations, but there are also lots of sessions on, on other issues like burns, falls, trauma, violence, suicide, and some cross-cutting issues um, like uh, different types of methodologies and indigenous um, health. We also have a practice stream and a number of sessions every single day where we encourage our colleagues from civil society advocates, Etc. To to join us in those policy uh, in those practice streams, uh, poster presentations. We have 128 of these um, accepted and registered. The policy uh, the poster templates are online as well, and we um, at the conference are endorsing the Better Poster campaign. With a, there's a link here that you can go to. Um, these will come after the state of the art sessions, uh, um, primarily on days one and two, um, and the presenters will need to be at their at their posters um, at the designated time to answer questions. And you can bring your poster on a on a USB stick and have it printed in India. Next slide, please. Okay, so I'm handing over to my colleague DT, who's going to be telling us about the social media and comms. Thank you so much, Maggie. Hi, everyone. I'm Deepthi Beri, and I work as a research fellow in the Injury Division at TGI based out of New Delhi office. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here and talk a bit about uh, social media and comms that we are using for Safety 2024. Um, as we know that social media is not just um, used for personal interactions, it also enables us to share our uh, impactful work experiences and stories um, and facilitate meaningful interactions and future collaborations. Um, so let's just uh, go through our social media account details and uh, the website without much ado. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ali. Uh, so um, our primary social media platform for uh, safety 2024 uh, communication has been Twitter X. Uh, we advise everyone who's planning to attend uh, the conference should definitely follow our uh, X account for real time updates. Uh, as as it's going to be a uh, you know dynamic platform and interactive uh, uh, you know platform for attendees and speakers uh, alike as uh, we will be using uh, X for on ground live updates uh, participant engagement and we'll be amplifying key messages uh, to the global audience uh, during the conference days apart from the regular updates that we uh, keep posting um, we also recommend using our conference hashtag uh, as mentioned here um, and uh, for amplifying uh, your conference experience uh, it will not just increase uh, the brand visibility and um, uh, but people would also know your work better and and it will also enable uh, streamlined conversations and contribute to the meaningful uh, discussions that uh, are going to take place during the conference. Uh, we'll also be having light, light tweeting sessions by the um, by our dedicated comms colleagues and uh, your contributions uh, through retweets and co tweets can certainly strengthen our voice towards you know building a safer future for all which is our conference theme um, as you see here uh, uh, there are some of the screenshots of updates that we regularly post on our x account so do follow us today if you still haven't um, yeah next slide please uh, so coming to the conference website, as you would agree that uh, maximizing its use is essential for effective planning and a seamless conference experience. Uh, if you have had a look already, you'll know that uh, our website uh, serves as a centralized hub for all the event information, uh, offering details of the conference vision and themes, uh, the partners and supporters that we have, uh, detailed conference programs, speaker bios, registration details, uh, accommodation options, and other useful resources for researchers. Uh, we also have have dedicated pages for planning uh, 
your pre and post conference uh, uh, holidays uh, to nearby cities where our secretariat can provide support in uh, planning and booking. So do go through these and we'll be happy to take your conference experience to another level. Um, we also have suggestions on places in and around Delhi where you can visit for uh, trying authentic food, uh, music, shopping and everything to make the best out of best, uh, the best of your time in Delhi. Uh, we also have some important email addresses uh, under the contact tab on the extreme right of the homepage and also at the bottom uh, of the homepage uh, uh, where you can just contact the conference secretariat for different queries, whether it's registrations or sponsorships or exhibition queries or any uh, travel uh, support or, or even journal queries. Uh, there is also a page on visa information under the visit tab on homepage, which uh, uh, the international participants can explore and get in touch with us uh, if they need any support with the documentation. Um, next slide, Ali. Um, so we also intend to uh, launch our conference app on the 7th of August, which uh, will help the participants to set up their profiles for seamless networking, uh, collaborations, assessing conference program and customizing schedules and receiving some real time updates to uh, not miss anything at the conference. Uh, we will be notifying uh, the launch of this uh, app through our social media posts and also on our website. So just say stay tuned. Um, yeah, that is it from me and look forward to seeing you all in person in 45 days. Thank you. Thank you so much, Deepthi. Um, over here, I have to acknowledge we did have some pseudo uh, audience for the webinar. So I'm just going to acknowledge Abigail Hansen over here. I don't think he wants to turn on camera, but it's great to have some um, feedback and some questions. Uh, so first of all, my bad. I, I said the cooking class is perhaps on 30th. That was wrong. Uh, so the correct date is 1st of September on a Sunday at 6.30 at Taj. Uh, so correction over there. Um, the second question we have, is there a timeline or a deadline to book your uh, trips around the city? Uh, the deadline for that will be 20th of August across through the website. So please jump on the website before 20th of August to book any um, uh, local trips. Uh, there was another question. Um, should you be mindful of any customs in um, in India? If you are landing in New Delhi, it's quite like New York. Uh, unfortunately, you would probably experience catcalling. Uh, so my only tip would be, um, particularly if you're a woman, try and have a partner with you. Uh, as you're traveling across uh, Delhi, but otherwise there are absolutely no restrictions. You can wear anything you want. You can go out. Uh, yeah, just be mindful to go out with company or have a group uh, with you. Uh, a little bit uh, of safety on your side. Um, I think the, the last thing I have on my list as to queries. No, I think I've covered everything. Anything else? Anyone? Have you missed on any other aspect? that you'd like to cover? Nope, okay. Then that's it from us. Um, if there, if there, if you have any questions after seeing this webinar, feel free to contact us via X, as Deepthi has also mentioned, uh, Twitter account, or you can reach out to us via email. We will be happy to answer any questions. If there are too many, we'll try and organize another webinar. Otherwise, we are super excited and look forward to seeing you with your dancing shoes on in New Delhi. Um, on 30th or 31st of August. Thank you so much. Um, so we had a few more questions come in as we were having a discussion. One is on the registrations. Of course, this is one of the major ones. Um, for the pre-conference workshops, you will be provided safety pin badges uh, as you come in on uh, Saturday. And on Sunday, that is the 1st of uh, September, uh, there will be uh, registration counters available at the India Habitat Center where all the pre-conference workshops are happening. Uh, it's kind of a live counter. Um, you would have to enter your name and there will be people to support you, but the badges will be printed on site. Um, and there's also a self-serving kiosk. So uh, there will be a few options. On the day of the conference, that is the 2nd of September, we are expecting some high level dignitaries. So it will be a little tricky. However, there will be at least one kiosk available um, to print your um, and delegates and your lanyards, uh, making all of that available uh, on the morning of the 2nd of September. Um, so just to reconfirm, on the 1st September, you can go to India Habitat Center. Just as you leave from the India Habitat Center after your day of conferences, 
uh, uh, pre-workshops, you can pick the lanyards and the badges, and then you have the second opportunity on Monday morning. You do need to carry your badge and the lanyard all through the conference for entry to, to the conference rooms um, and the venue overall. Um, then um, we appreciate that Wi-Fi is something we all really desperately badly need. Um, at the India Habitat Center, there is no wi free Wi-Fi available, so you will have to rely on your mobile data. Um, however, access to internet is there at the main conference venue that is Taj, and we will be able to share the con uh, Wi-Fi uh, password with you um, during the event. I don't think I have missed on anything else. Are there any other burning questions? And yeah, just as we mentioned previously, we will be happy to answer any questions through social media. We might as well put up a page of uh, frequently asked questions on the website as more questions pour, on, pour in. Thank you so much.